Good morning. Praise God. Came back down here to the Gulf Shores, Alabama Beach this morning. Uh, today I read in um, Psalms, I believe 1822, it says, uh, This is the stone which the builders rejected. <laughs> 23 says, This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. <laughs> you know, it says this is the Lord's doing, and this is marvelous in our eyes. Right after that in Psalms 18, uh, 24, it says, uh, 118, 24, it says, uh, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Wow. Thought about that, I was like, wow, this is the stone which the builders rejected. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Then he would say, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> you know, that makes me think about uh, whenever Christ I spoke yesterday, he 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 was before Pontius Pilate and uh he he uh told him he said, you know, you would have no authority unless it was given from you from above. <laughs> you know, you could just see Psalm 18 and all through the Word, it was pointing to Christ, Christ Jesus. You know, He's the stone. He's the cornerstone. The whole Word, the whole creation is pointing to Him. Him, He's the salvation plan of God, you know. It talked about in the, in the Bible, in the wilderness, you know, they, the children of Israel, they drank from this rock. You know, Moses, he struck the rock and water came out, but it said, this rock was Christ <laughs> it was Christ you know and that's why we preach Christ crucified <laughs> we're trying to preach Christ crucified to you it is even though it's a it's a um, stumbling block to the Jews and it's foolishness it's foolishness to the Greeks you know it's foolishness to many of the Gentiles but uh, for us it's Christ that you know the power of God the wisdom of God it says in the Bible he has become for us wisdom and sanctification and redemption you know, He is that. He is our righteousness. Christ, our righteousness. And and the joy of the Lord is our strength. You know, the whole, like I said, the whole the Bible, the whole creation is uh, pointing forward to Him. He is the salvation plan of God. And uh, this is eternal life. It says that they may know you, the one true God and Jesus Christ, whom, whom, he, whom he has sent. You know, He sent Him to be the propitiation for our sins, you know, to take the place. He, he took on the sins of the world, you know. There's none righteous, not one. You know, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. And we all need, we all need a Savior. You know, we all need to be covered by the blood. You know, that makes me think back to the um, the Passover, you know, the true Passover in, in Egypt. And they, and they told the children of Israel, he said, you look, go put the blood over the door. Because if you don't, they, you know what I mean? The angel won't pass over. You know, they needed to be covered by the blood of Jesus. We need to be covered um, by his blood. You know, because like I said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. They, you know, He is our Passover Lamb. Christ Jesus is, and uh, we need Him. You know, to, you know, to uh, to be covered in Him. And like I said, He is our righteousness. He is our hope. It says we've been born again to a living hope. I'm speaking a lot of these um, same things that I've been speaking. You know, because the gospel is what's been burning in my heart. You know, I want to. Uh, Paul said, he said in a word, he said, um, he said, I came to you not with wisdom words. I didn't want, I didn't come to claim to know anything besides Christ Jesus and him crucified. You know, it's him crucified. And uh, we are to walk as he walked. Jesus said, um, anyone that will come after me, he must take up his cross daily and follow me. We must take up our cross and follow him. You know, we must deny, deny ourselves, you know. Um, and it says we are not to think more highly than ourselves than we ought, but to speak with sound judgment. You know what I mean? It, it, so it's not about us. It's not about me. It's not about, um, you know, but it is about Jesus. It's about, uh, it's about pointing, pointing you to him because, you know, we all need him. We need a savior and he is, you know, he is the savior of the world. So I'm just going to keep trying to share this glorious gospel of Jesus Christ because, um, you know, like I said, I've been saying the words a seed. It's a seed and one sows and one waters, but Christ, Christ causes the increase. 
you know, and it, it, is, uh, it is him that works in us to will and to do. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you. You know what I mean? He chose us, but I mean, we believe and we, we must speak this gospel, you know, because we cannot help but speak about the things we've seen and heard. And um, I know, like, I, there's going to be many people, they get discouraged about many things and quit sharing the gospel. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters, like I've been saying, to share, to share this gospel. You know, because like we said, we know it is the power of salvation to all that would believe, to the Jew and to the Gentile. You know, there's no partiality with God. He doesn't show partiality. You know, he, he shows his grace and his mercy to all that would walk uprightly and uh, walk according to his law and into, according to his things. But I mean, we can't keep this law in ourselves. It's not in and of ourselves. That's what uh, 2 Corinthians 3, 5 says. It says, we are not sufficient as of ourselves to think any, anything of ourselves. Our sufficiency is from God. I think it was even uh, David that said, once I've heard this twice, you know, power belongs to God. <laughs> power belongs unto him. And uh, the gospel is the power of salvation, you know, and, um, you, and, uh, you know, he's calling every everybody right now to repent. You know what I mean? To repent from them, to repent from their sins, to turn from their ways. You know, he said, uh, he said, he said, um, he said it like this. He said, uh, "Return to me, and I will return to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners." This is what J he said. James said this, speaking of returning unto God. He said, uh, "Return to me, and I will return to you." Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your heart, your heart, you double-minded. You know, he, he said a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. You know, and uh, if your eye is single, your whole body will be full of light. You know what I mean? But, but, if, but if it's, you know what I mean? If the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? You know, we need to be, we need to be washed and cleansed uh, with the blood of Christ. Um, you know, he, he can make, he is our righteousness. So that's the only way we could be made right with God is to be cleansed and uh, to repent from our sins and to turn from ourselves and our ways. You know, and he said, abide in me, apart from me, you can do nothing. You know, we, we can do nothing without Christ, you know. Um, we, you know, it really is him that works in us to will and to do for his good pleasure. And... You know, it is his will that none will perish, but that all will come to repentance and to everlasting life. So I just, I just pray right now that um, someone, this message reaches the right ears, that it gets sown in the in the soil, in the in the fertile soil, that it will take root and grow and grow in some in front of someone, and in someone, and that that uh, that that you will go and multiply and spread seed. And uh, continue this glorious God. You know, Jesus said, "All authority on heaven and, and earth has been given to me. Go, go. I'm saying, telling you, go and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to do all that I have commanded you." You know, so it, that that is the great commission that we go and we make disciples of all nations. You know, and I mean, I don't want to just uh, sit here and proclaim the gospel. You know, Paul. I think I read this morning. He said, "You know." We don't only want to share the gospel, but we want to share ourselves with you, our own souls with you as well. So, you know, I want to walk with the wise and become wise. I want to share not only, like I said, the word with you, but um, I would like to share compassion with you and love. You know, James said it like this. He said, you know, if I go and tell a brother, go be warmed and be filled, but I don't need to give them what's needed for the body, what good is that? So, you know, if there's needs, if there's needs out there, you're thirsty, you're hungry, you know what I mean, that kind of a thing, I would like to offer my services to you as well or anything that I can, it, you know, as much as it depends on me, live at peace with all men. And I want to, I don't want to just be speaking a word. I want to, I want to live this gospel. I want to love my brother, you know what I mean, and my sisters. And um, I just want to continue in this gospel, in, in his grace. You know what I mean? It says to not only grow in the grace, but in the knowledge of God. So I want to continue to grow in that because uh, Paul, he prayed that, uh, he said, pray for me that I will make the gospel manifest as I should, or another translation says, so I can speak it clearly as I should. So I just ask any brothers and sisters out there to pray for me as I continue to uh, walk this walk and share the gospel that I will make it manifest as I should whenever it comes, that it comes with grace to the hearers, that my tongue is seasoned, you know what I mean? Seasoned uh, to be able to, just to, that it'll reach the right ears, you know? And uh, 
and then you know like i said i was saying yesterday we're a savor of uh, death to some but a savor of life to some so those that would receive christ you know jesus said he said that um uh that w when we hear his word his you know his children are hear his word his sheep hear his voice you know they a hireling there's a hireling that that uh out there too there's someone that wants to there's people that just want to bring people after themselves you know what i mean and to turn people to themselves i've always thought that a, some of your best friends or your best the best people out there they're going to point you to christ they're not going to point you to man's wisdom and and the things of this world and the philosophies of this world and all these things of the world that you know what i mean that'll have you chasing some hope and something else because it says we've been born again to a living hope you know our our hope is in christ we have this hope of eternal life and it's a it's a it's a real hope you know what i mean it's a like you, like it said a living hope and hope that is seen is not hope so it's not like we've attained all the way to this yet it says somewhere in the word it says maybe in corinthians it says the holy spirit has been given to us as a deposit <laughs> well if that's a deposit obviously you know what i mean there's more there's more to come in him he is steadily sanctifying us and we're growing in him and um he said jesus said when he was talking about the sheep he said no one will be able to snatch you out of my father's hand you know no one can snatch us out of his hand he didn't like i said i mean he can't he's he's not going to lose any of his sheep so when you truly come to him in a in a broken and a contrite spirit and you really uh repent of your ways and you submit unto his will you know like jesus said he said not my will but thy will be done you know we submit unto him and uh he he will he is the author and finisher of our faith so i just uh pray today that uh again that this message reaches the reaches the right ears and that uh we'll continue to sow the seed and um i know the enemy will come and try to uh do all he can to to you know take this seed and uh just get it get it where it don't grow you know what i mean where it's, he's gonna he's gonna people's gonna be distracted with cares of this world and with all these kind of things you know but um in persecutions you know there's gonna be all kind of things that lead people away you know to away from the the only one that can give life the one that speaks to us uh words the words that are spirit in life so praise god i love you all have a wonderful day